guys, it's Andrea Bay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you don't know me, I am Andrea Bay from GlamHungryMom.com. Uh, Today I am showing you a Valentine's Day look that you can do um, when you go out on a date with your boo. So I know a lot of people like to do a red lipped Valentine's Day look. Um, I personally don't like to do that. I like to do a more like inviting nude pinky lip. Um, just because when I wear red lips, my husband's like, oh, don't come near me, like, don't kiss me on the face. Um, whereas this is kind of like, mmm, let's, we can totally make out in the back of the movie theater kind of look. Um, but yeah, so I'm married, it's totally fine, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a pink nudie lip and a little bit of a pink lid. Um, and I'm going to show you how to smoke this out um, quite easily. And I use my Anastasia Dip Brow in a way that you probably haven't seen before. Um, I have it in a video that I have filmed, but I have yet to upload it. Um, I have to edit it. So uh, you will see this video probably before since Valentine's Day is pretty soon. Uh, if you guys want to get this look, stay tuned and I will show you how right now. To start off with, I'm going to prep my eyelid with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Now I'm going to lightly tap this all over my lid as well as under my eye along the lash line. Uh, I really like using this shade because it's more neutral instead of painterly because it's a bit more grayish. Um, now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, which is generally used for the eyebrows, but today I'm using it as a sort of base for the smoky part of my eyeshadow along my outer V on both sides using the MAC 217 blending brush. Um, and it looks a little crazy right now, but don't worry, everything will blend and it will look really great. And I'm just gonna keep blending out until I get the desired outline of the shape that I want. I'm going in with the same brush, I'm gonna use the shade Nooner from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm just gonna add a little bit more color and dimension to the shape that I already outlined in the V. And I'm just gonna go in and blend it until it looks how I want it to. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean blending brush and clean up any harsh lines and just kind of buff everything out. Um, now I'm using the MAC 286 brush in the shade Nooner. Um, I like it because the brush is a little bit more tapered, so it gets right in my crease without making too much of a mess. Because we know that sometimes it gets a little bit messy in the crease if your brush isn't tapered enough. With a flat shader brush, I'm going into my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette again with the color Buzz, and I am applying it all over my lid. Um, I'm being a little bit liberal with this and I'm also making sure that I overlap it a little bit with my previous Nooner and Urban Decay dark brown shades just so it blends a little bit more seamlessly. Um, I like to do it in a patting motion and then it, towards the center of the lid I like to swipe down so it looks a little bit more liquidy. Um, I'm also applying this underneath my eyes on my lash line. With the color Burnout, I'm just going to add it to the inner third of my eyelid just to add a little bit lighter shade, but it's not quite as light as I want. So I'm going in with the lightest color of the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and adding that into the inner corners of my eye as well as my tear duct. Um, now I'm just going in and darkening it up a little bit um, using the color Burnout in my outer third of the lower lash line. Now I am just blending again with a clean blending brush, same one, no shadow at all, just to blend. Um, now I am using a MAC angled brush and applying the NYX gel liner um, onto my lash line and I'm just going to make a wing. Um, I am going between my lashes just to get as much darkness as I can and then I'm gonna wing it out ever so slightly. Sorry guys, my camera died and I didn't notice so I applied Ardell Wispies quickly onto my lashes as well as to individual long lashes, um, but I will catch you up on that in a bit. Um, right now I am applying the MAC Prep and Prime and Light Boost just to add a little bit of a highlighting effect underneath the eyes and down the center of my nose. Also, I use the shade Dark Side along my lash line 
and the Master Precise Marker Eyeliner on my wing to darken it up and sharpen it as well. Um, now I'm using the Lorac 3D Liquid Lusters and I'm applying it to my ring fingers and tapping it onto the center of my lid for a bit of a glittery, fun, date night, cute effect because who doesn't like glitter? And I really like this one because it doesn't have fallout like most glitters do and it doesn't get in my contacts and irritate them, which is huge for me. Um, now I'm going in with the marker again just to go over any parts where glitter may have gone to my liner and to darken up my line. Now it's time for the lips and I'm keeping it simple with the Model Co. Lip Gloss in Strip Tease. I don't want too much going on with my lips because I expect to do some kissing and it's going to be wiped off anyway. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!